Greetings to you, Senator Saxby Chambliss, Republican Senator from Georgia. We are anonymous, and the time has come for a reckoning for your malfeasance as both a member of the Senate and as a congressional representative from Georgia's 8th District. While serving in the U.S. House of Representatives as a member of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, you chaired the House Intelligence Subcommittee on Terrorism and Homeland Security, which oversaw the intelligence inquiry into the September 11th attacks in 2001 and 2002. You naturally used that as a springboard into the Senate, running on a campaign of fear to a victory in the 2002 elections, and became the ranking Republican on the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, a member of the Gang of Eight, in 2011. This means you are briefed on all intelligence operations and procedures. As such, you have nearly unrivaled access to information about covert operations and intelligence gathering methods, just like your compatriots in the Gang of Eight that we have previously profiled. Your voting record on intelligence is of some note, as you clearly favor draconian security measures over freedom and liberty. You voted in favor of the USA Patriot Act in 2001 as well as all of its extensions and expansions, and the disastrous Protect America Act of 2007, which paved the way for the Fourth Amendment destroying, PRISM, program, and even had the nerve to publicly condemn the recent Amash Amendment, which would have defunded the mass collection of domestic telephone records of hundreds of millions of American citizens. Worst of all, you will not hesitate to lie and dissemble to protect your position on these matters. To quote one of your more public lies about the prison program from an interview with George Stephanopoulos. This committee right now, would it surprise you if it turns out that what Mr. Greenwald is reporting there is true, that low-level officials have that kind of capability to read emails, internet traffic, listen to phone calls? George, it wouldn't just surprise me, it would shock me. I was back at it NSA just last week, uh, spent a couple of hours out there with high-level and low-level NSA officials, and what I have been assured of is that there is no capability in at NSA for anyone without a court order to listen to any telephone conversation or to monitor any email. In fact, we don't monitor emails. That's what uh, kind of assures me that what uh, the reporting is is not correct, because no emails are monitored now. They used to be, but that stopped uh, two or three years ago. So I feel confident that, uh, that there may have been some abuse, uh, but if it was, it was pure accidental. This clearly contradicts what is now known all about the NSA's tactics and the PRISM program, as well as the NSA 2 Lex Key score, thanks to the leaks by whistleblower Edward Snowden. And for what reason do you lie about the NSA and its domestic data mining and surveillance, Senator? Perhaps you tell yourself that it's for the greater good. Perhaps you delude yourself that by circumventing the Fourth Amendment and the Bill of Rights you're carrying out your sworn duty to protect the United States of America from all threats, both foreign and domestic. But your financial disclosure statements tell a very different story. Since the 2008 election cycle, you have accepted $840,816 in campaign contributions, or bribes, from defense contractors and NSA collaborators such as Northrop Grumman, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Verizon Communications, AT&T, Raytheon, L3 Communications, and the Microsoft Corporation. In short, you are beholden to those that spy on us with drones, satellites, and our own private data, and it is clearly their interests that you are making your priority, not ours. Fortunately, in January, 2013, you announced that you will not be seeking re-election in the 2014 election cycle. Anonymous has had quite enough of you, and won't be sorry to see you go. If you seek a presidential bid in 2016, we will do everything in our power to ensure you do not succeed. Farewell, Senator Chambliss, and good riddance. A virus has been detected. Anonymous is working to correct the system failure. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. 
expect us.